<laughs> well, hello there, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of BMNG Drive. I thought we'd start off with a little bit of a crash because, well, we have a new bus to enjoy. This is the 3.5 million horsepower bus. Well, actually, that's not true. This is the measly 2,500 horsepower bus. There's two more that go all the way up to 3.5 million. The thing is, I can't even get this thing up to full speed without the engine blowing, and this is nothing compared to 3.5 million. So, yeah, we'll see if we can actually get this this one up to full speed because it's actually controllable and there we go cooling overheating already i'm only going 400 what do you want from me and there it goes engine is broken at about 400 kilometers an hour which is actually what's been happening every time so i don't know if i gotta set up the engine right or what but these things might actually be too fast i can't believe i'm saying that let's go to a measly 1 million horsepower so we'll load up that one Oh, yeah, it's definitely got a different engine in it. That or just the RPMs are through the roof. I can't, I'm not even pressing my throttle. All right, we're just going to have to see how long this one lasts. Oh, and there it goes. It just blew at 350. God damn it. I think we're actually over 400. It might not be. The thing is, the moment I put the throttle down, the wheels spin. So it's not totally accurate when you're seeing it faster than that it looks like i just i cannot get it past 400 then the coolant starts overheating and the bus is like what the hell are you doing to me and there we go it just died again ah this is so frustrating all right and just for the complete stupidity let's load up the 3.5 million one i'm just gonna give it and see what happens yeah i just i just ripped off a wheel <laughs> block melted <laughs> i've never had that before it seems to actually stay together when you go full throttle maybe that's what i was doing wrong <laughs> when it says block melted and i can still give it gas might be a little bit of a problem and there it goes unfortunately it did finally die after a while <laughs> but it lasted longer than i expected with a melted freaking block well, of course, we got to try it at the giant jump. I don't think it's going to work very well, though, just because its limiting factor isn't speed, obviously. It's freaking grip. Did I just break my engine? I broke my engine before I even got down the hill. Come on, man. You can't give me such a powerful vehicle and it just gets destroyed because of itself. All right, there we go. It's surviving this time for a second. Smoke's coming out the back. Not bad. Oh, the engine just blew the moment we got off the ground. Axle broke and everything. <laughs> I noticed I had this bus too. It's called Snake Bus. I don't I don't know what's going on. Come on, Snake Bus, you floppy bastard. You can do it. Just get down the freaking hill. What is I can't even keep it straight. It's so floppy. Oh god, it's bending. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but the whole thing is just, as you can see, it's wobbly. <laughs> yeah, that shouldn't happen when you pull up your bus. It's, <laughs> what the hell is this made out of rubber? And moving on to our next mod, this is going to allow us to not get in car crashes. And you might be thinking, well, that's kind of dumb, isn't it? No, it's cool, damn it, because, well, there is a lot of technology in these cars now. This is the Advanced Driver Assistance Systems. Basically, it adds all the complex things you would find in real life into your car, like uh, rear automatic emergency braking, automatic emergency braking, all those fun things into BeamNG. Now, I want to see how good it is. So, for example, if I was to come up on this car, I have not touched a button. It has braked for me. This kind of blows my mind that this is in a video game, but I love that it even beeps when it hears you're about to hit something. I'm curious to see how fast we can possibly go, though. Also, it should have emergency backup. Ah, uh, seems like it needs a little bit of work. I think the emergency backup isn't for vehicles and more for if you're hit, about to hit a building or something, just like in real life. I don't think they really work against moving objects, so we'll try more of that later. I'm more interested in the automatic braking system, so we're going a bit faster now. It seems to analyze it very, very early, as it should, of course. Let's see if we can run up on this guy and hit him. Okay, I don't know what happened there. That should not have happened. I mean, never rely on the computer systems in your cars, ladies and gentlemen. I'm thinking it's maybe because we're in Italy and there's a lot of buildings, like, really close to me. The computer system is kind of overloading. Let's actually go out 
to maybe a highway system. All right, this should be a little easier on the computer, so... It does get a little closer than what I'm comfortable doing. And I gotta say, it isn't perfect, but it definitely does work. Let's go really fast here. This should not work. I mean, it tried to hit the brakes. <laughs> You're going to crash regardless, though. All right, so let's come up on this guy at about 80. And because he's moving forward, it did give me my, myself enough time to stop. This is really, really cool. I might be the only one that thinks this is cool, but having this kind of technology in a video game, it's just so interesting to see. Wow, that analyzed that Jeep from that far away. So I feel like maybe even going fast, it might actually be able to do it. Let's go over 100. And okay, no, it seems to be obviously if there's a huge difference between the speed that the car is going in front of you and your car you are definitely going to hit it now let's try the rear automatic emergency braking so if i was to get gas here and accidentally go a little too far backwards yes it's automatically going to stop for me i don't know if it does it when i hold the gas it, it does not override my stupidity unfortunately <laughs> One other cool feature of this mod is its backup camera. So if you put your car in reverse, you can now get this really impressive backup camera with this super wide lens, as well as it's not just simply just showing you an indicator here. You can actually see your wheel turning as well. So if you did need to back up and um, park somewhere with all these new features, very, very easy, as you can clearly tell. Moving on to our next mod. This one is going to be real fun. Utah is still one of my favorite maps in the game. And a designer by the name of Drowsy Sam has made it extra. And by that, there has been a lot added to the place. Like this over here, we have like an incline testing track. I mean, you can see all around me, there's a bunch of different teleports. More maps need to do this, by the way. This is fantastic. But yeah, we're going to go check out some of these and see what has happened to one of my favorite maps in the game so we got area 53 here oh my god obviously just a, a testing playground i'm seeing this loop though i have to try and get this i don't know if we'll do that right now i think we'll end off with that because that one's gonna take a while what the hell oh my god oh my god oh my god i didn't i, th I thought it'd be a little hole oh it looks like we can get out unfortunately I don't have the most powerful of vehicles right now. You know what? Let's just try it once. Let's see if I can get it first try. That would be absolutely hilarious. There isn't even like a running start. So we're going to need, I think, an extremely powerful vehicle. I don't know. Oh my God. Maybe. Nope. <laughs> Not even close. I don't know if that's possible. You're going to need like a supercar. All right. Let's try Baja Rama. Um, so yeah, it's been a while since I've been on a Baja course. This thing is a freaking rocket, by the way. So I don't know how I'll be able to handle this. So yeah, we just got a nice off-roading course. I gotta be honest, one of my favorite things to do in the... Oh God, to do in this game is simply just do some off-roading. Uh, there's not enough off-roading courses, in my opinion. Now, I've always wanted to try something just for fun. You guys always ask me to play with the gravity in this game. If you don't know, you can totally customize it to whatever you want. So Earth is about 9.8, I believe. I'm going to start with really heavy gravity. And after every lap... Oh my god, this feels weird. I got so much grip. But after every successful lap, we're going to half the gravity and see how long we can last before this thing gets destroyed. Just for fun. Honestly, I don't know what's going to be harder, the added gravity or once we, you know, take less gravity because <laughs> these hits, even on these little bumps, are a doozy. Oh, that could have been bad. Induction system damage. There's my first actual damage. Is this the end here? Don't tell me that. Is that part of the... That's not part of the course. Okay, no, because we're done right here. Okay, so one lap. Actually, I'm impressed. I think I had one small body panel fall off. I'm not even sure where. It was probably underneath the car, but it survived. So let's drop it down to 7.5. Oh, oh, let's not go up. I'm going to destroy it. 7.5. <laughs> and now we're lighter than earth this is going to drastically change even with just this I, I might be a goner here i'm just sliding everywhere it's definitely doable but i'm i'm horrified for the next lap because i'm not even going fast and i'm just not getting grip as you can clearly see okay i'm going very slow oh <laughs> I don't even know if this is a race anymore. I have to go so slow. I'm not really focused on speed. It definitely isn't crazy though. I, I feel like I could be a little more risky now 
because even when I take a hard landing, it's so light. I'm not doing much damage, thank God. Oh, that was like butter. Can we jump both of these? Oh, 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 oh. There, there's the first hard landing. All right, there, there goes a body panel. All right, here we go. Let's go for a hard one. Oh, there goes some glass. Okay, okay, breaks, breaks. Ooh, ooh, easy, easy. Just, just body damage. It's okay. Okay, another lap done. Now let's get a little bit crazier. Okay, this is where it's going to get insta insane. So we were at 7.5. Let's not half it. Let's go down to four. I want this to be doable. Oh, yeah. It, it, it feels exactly as if I was on ice. That That's what I would put it to. I'm still getting grip, though. That's the important part. Uh-oh. Oh, God. I'm going to slide up a freaking hill. How does that happen? I guess that's what happens when you have... <laughs> Such low gravity. I think we're like at the gravity of Mars now, which feels oddly fitting with the red ground around us. Okay, let's let's go for it just to see how stupid this is. Okay, okay. Land it smooth. Smooth. Easy. Easy. We can get back on course. It's okay. The thing is, I mean, I can crash now and it's not going to give me any damage. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did I speak too soon? Oh, no. Come on. How did that kill me? That was the lightest crash I've ever seen. I'm cheating, damn it. We have to give it a, another chance. Oh, God. Oh, I, I hit that turn a bit sideways. Just a little bit. It, it's okay. It's... Oh, that, okay. My, my front wheels are not looking good. Uh, yeah. That's not how cars are supposed to work. Damn it. I'm cheating again. Mother of God, I did it. I mean, I'm, I might have cheated a bit. <laughs> I can't even... I can't even make it to the end. All right, come on. Let's just get back on your feet. Wheels. Yeah. Oh, oh. God damn it. It's so confusing and no gravity. All right. And just for the complete stupidity. Oh, God. All right. You're not supposed to be up there. Get down. What, what, what are you doing? Oh, God. I'm not even going to get any grip. Okay. There we go. We are ready to go. Why Why? Why is this wheel not even on the ground? Did, did I bend my whole frame? I must have because that doesn't make any sense. What the hell? Oh, God, I, I, the, the frame's bent, so I can't get grip on the one side. Okay, in the dirt, it seems possible. Oh, God, it's gonna flip. I'm not even going fast. God damn it. I just want to do one jump like this. Oh, yes, jump. Speed. Speed. I just wanted to do a jump. <laughs> okay, well, I, I, I don't know what I learned by doing this. I guess the one thing is I kind of like Earth's gravity. It's kind of convenient at its current level because... Trying to live in something like this will be fun to say the least. God, it feels weird being back at Earth's gravity now, but I, ha I have to try and do this jump, of course. I think there's a landing pad. Oh, oh, break it, break it. Oh my God, this thing, it is, this thing's a rocket and it's so light. Overshot the pad. Actually, you know what? That, that um, loops right around here too. Ah, yeah, there, there it is over there. I feel like this is the car for that loop. All right, let's see if I can hold this thing together. It is so freaking light. I also love how I haven't used the NOS yet. So yeah, let's just throw that NOS on and we'll just go right from here. Oh my God. <laughs> I need to slow down. <laughs> All right, there we go. Just a nice little Sunday drive with this thing. Oh, butter, baby. Can we do two? Can we do two? Slow, slow, slow. Okay, a little more speed. Nope, a little slow. Land it. Yes. Three? Nope, we're not doing three, that's for sure. But two in a row, I'll take it. What the hell is that? So I'm just exploring around. There's so much stuff here. There's courses upon courses. Looks like we got rock crawling courses. Like, this is now a dream zone for off-roading. It already was. I mean, it's Utah. But what the hell is this thing? All right, I'm just going to spawn here and find out. All right, and with this ordinary version, we're going at a, you know, a stable 230. I think that should be good. We've maxed out. Good time to max out, I guess. Holy Jesus. Oh my, wait, what are those for? What the hell are those for? All right, I think we don't have the power to make it to the uh, half pipe. Oh my God. All right, brakes, brakes, brakes. Try, trying to align it in the air. It's not gonna work. <gasps> we might land on our hood. Oh, whoa, wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. We went too far. Oh, that's that's impossible. That would be so cool if you could land that, though. All right, guys. And on that, I think it's time to wrap up another episode of BeamNG Drive here. I hope you guys enjoyed checking out some awesome mods today. Uh, I'm so happy with this Utah update. 
we only scratched the surface of this. There's like five or six, maybe even more tracks to do from drifting to rock crawling. And uh, yeah, if you guys want to see some more, let me know in the comments below. And we might check out the rest of it. But yeah, I'm sure you will see more anyways, because as I said, Utah's commonly played on this channel. It's one of my favorite maps. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.